everyone and welcome to another review from Colour with Claire. Today we're looking at the Colour in Heaven collector's issue which has just been released. It's called Frightlings Halloween and it contains 40 exclusive characters by Frightlings artist Tabitha Thorpe. Now this being a collector's issue means that it is not part of the standard Colouring Heaven subscription service whereby you'll get a different um, magazine each month and a different artist each month. This is separate to that so if you want to get your hands on this Frightlings Halloween there will be a link in the description where you can buy this completely separately to any subscription that you might have. So just to make it clear this is not part of the monthly subscription it's an added extra if you like so links in the description. So let's have a look at the front. We've got this beautiful purpley pink foil in here on the title, very Halloween-y and as usual you can colour the front and the back covers as they're all in matte and yeah obviously you can tell these are some of the characters that we're going to see inside the book. You can get a pretty good handle on the artwork and the style that you're going to see just by looking at the cover so it's very cute and sweet but with a little bit of a macabre undertone as well. So we'll open up and we've got a bit about Tabitha here. It says Tabitha is a digital artist from South Yorkshire that is passionate about painting and loves the dark fantasy genre. She graduated with a BA Honours degree in illustration from Doncaster College and University Centre at the age of 21. After the course she took a short break to decide on a career path and in that time started to design and develop the idea of Frightlings with her family. The concept of Frightlings was well received and allowed her to continue to focus on what she loves the most, creating artwork. And you can find out more about her on her website, myfrightlings.com. So that's all about the illustrator. We've got our colour combination chart as usual. And here's the first one. So if you love spooky and scary stuff like you know I do, but you also kind of love a bit of cute, sweet illustration as well, you don't really like things as gory or gungy as maybe I do, um, then you'll probably adore this book because it's the perfect balance of both. So you can see here we've got a mummy kind of creature. We've got all of the different little bottles. I think in Egypt you used to have your organs put in bottles, didn't you? Different co containers. I uh, can't remember what they're called now. And uh, then you were mummified. So obviously this is a little mummy. And you can see on the back we have the title. This one's called Amun Mummyling. It says, embalmed and wrapped my organs in jars, my body at peace under the stars. So it gives you a little bit of a little poem, a little line of verse to go with the character. This is Booty Bill Pirateling. I love this. They're so cute and sweet, these little names that she's given them. It says, hidden treasure, I will brave the storm to find me some treasure. When the sea is real calm, it's a moment of pleasure. So I just love how each Frightling has its own theme. So we've had a mummy and we've had a pirate already. And then we've got Buttercup Bunny Vampling. So this says, my friends in the warren and upon the grass, I intend to change them all en masse. Soon they'll go through their demise and rebirth and bunny vamps will take over the earth. So this one's a little bit more, uh, a little bit creepier than the others, um, but still, you know, really, really cute. Uh, so we've got a graveyard in the background there. We've got some bats flying around. And then, of course, the central image is our bunny vampling. And that is kind of how it goes. These characters are really big and in your face. They take up almost the entirety of the page. So really, really good for people who maybe don't like an awful lot of detail in their colouring pages. But again, there is a bit of a balance there because you can see in the background here, we've got what looks like a stream surrounded by rocky, rocky mountains. So that will probably take a little bit more colouring if you wanted to really heighten the detail of that background there. But as for the main characters themselves, there's a lot of wide open spaces and a lot of room to play with really funky, creepy skin tones and things like that. So this is Cedric Yetiling. We've then got Keith Trolling. He's out fishing, looks like. It says, check your pockets for a penny to pay the bridge's top toll not daring to refuse payment for the angry for fear the angry troll you walk with trepidation and as you start to pass you keep your eyes averted for fear he'll kick your you can guess so this is ebony and eli gothling so we've got a couple of little goth kids here they've got the pentagram tattooed on their foreheads i'm not sure if they're wearing this kind of top or you know with this stitched detail or whether that's actual stitching on their skin 
but it says clothes made with black dyes, hair colour of coals, behind dramatic dark eyes live beautiful souls. And obviously you've got the boat there that you can colour, beautiful sparkling water and that forest background if you wanted to make a bit more detail. This is Raven Fallen Angeling. <laughs> I had to like think about that for a minute. Um, so this says, once an early shepherd, a good watcher of man, now black I am feathered on my beautiful wingspan. So we've got a fallen angelling. And as you can see, he's looking really upset about that fact. We've got all the rain pouring down on him, merging with his tears. And I think the eyes on these frightlings are really, really cool. They look like super big and glassy. I can imagine you doing really good effects with them. This is Scarlet Witchling and Asha Catling. So we've got a little witch and her familiar here. She's wearing a cute little headband with the moon, uh, the moon phases on it. And she has her broomstick and her little cat by her side. This is Limbo Zombieling and Medusa Gorgonling. So this is, as you can see, a um, landscape orientated illustration. It says, with one stern glance, they will fall in a trance and a flick of my head will stop the stone dead. So obviously this Medusa is staring at the zombie and it's turned him to stone. This is Hugh and Dorothy Spookling. I absolutely adore these little creature pages, um, not creature pages, couple pages. Um, they're really, really sweet. It kind of reminds me of Nightmare Before Christmas. It's got that same kind of style going on. It says, so if you're lost in the dark and all is unclear, say a small prayer and we will draw near. Breaking your fall when life tilts to the edge to watch over your soul is our spirit guide pledge. And it's really sweet how he's bringing her a little flower. Oh, this one's upside down. Oh, they're bats, of course. <laughs> this is the Battling brother, Brothers, Vincent and Vladimir Battling. You have to put your teeth in when you're reading these out because it's quite easy to uh, trip up on your words with these names. We've then got Aurora Angeling and Raven Fallen Angeling. So Raven Fallen Angeling was the one that we saw before, wasn't it? So he's reappeared, but he looks a lot happier this time. I think it's probably because he's got his little uh, partner in crime there. This is Jane's Tortured Souling and Grimwald Reaperling. So we've got a tortured soul and a reaper. It says, so you think the afterlife is all song and dance, full of mystery and light, a gothic romance. A serene place of beauty where your soul is set free. Well, your fantasy of paradise didn't happen to me. Mm. So this is called Afterlife Limbo. So with each illustration, you get the names of the characters the name of the illustration and then a little poem which I think is really sweet. This is Booty Bill Pirateling. So I think we met him at the start unless he was a different pi pi uh, pirate. Let's have a look. Um, no, it was Booty Bill Pirateling so he's appearing again and as you can see on this illustration entitled Shark Bait, we've got a bit of a Jaws theme going on. He's chumming and he's fishing and all of a sudden up comes the shark and you can tell that he's quite um, shocked by that okay making sure that I don't miss any out so we've got Grimwald repelling again the soul collector as you can see he's going around with his scythe and his bag of souls this is Scarlet Asher and Bondi voodoo ling <laughs> a touch of voodoo this illustration is called it says I guard from hateful curses shield you from the storm protect you from injustice find those who wish you harm so a bit of a voodoo kind of shaman thing going on here we've got um we've got the dream catcher with the voodoo doll in the center we've got a skull here acting as a stand for this dripping wax candle and again we've got the witch and her cat and the uh the voodoo guy this is scully skelling it says halloween magic on all hallows eve when our worlds become one Help us celebrate old friends and ancestors long gone. So that's a, a Halloween skeleton there with his jack-o'-lantern. This is Nosvar Vampling, poor little vampire. Poor little vampire feeling misunderstood. Would you feel better if you had a drop of blood? Poor little vampire looks straight into my eyes. Now I start to think my question wasn't wise. Ooh. So we're inside his kind of den here, this vampire's den. We've got the skulls again with the dripping candles. And the next one is Nosvar Pyro and Scully. 
Uh, it's called It's Halloween and this is obviously Nosfar because it looks like um, a Nosferatu kind of creature with those teeth. Then we've got Pyro which is all about the fire and then Scully. So you can see they've got their jack-o'-lanterns, they're ready to go out and go trick-or-treating. This is Keith trolling again, it's feeding time. You feel quite elated and act like you're a winner, then you realise he's smiling because he's having you for dinner. So I'm guessing he's picking up a few snails for his lunch here. We've then got Otis, Eli, Ebony and Duranth. Duranth, I think it's called. This illustration is Camp Frightling. It says, watching the seasons, the years go by fast. I'll give you my friendship till this life has passed. So they're all good friends around the campfire. We've then got Victor and Victoria Vampling, the daydreamers. You think it's all romantic, like in the vampire books, but you'll need an absolution when you find that love just sucks. Love that one. So back to the portrait orientated illustration now. This is Limbo Zombieling. Uh, I've died and awoken, I'm dropping to bits, my limbs are all broken, I'm out of my wits. I can see my intestines, my head hurts like hell. Have you had a vaccine? I'm sure I'm not well. So, zombie with all his parts falling and slowly rotting away. This is Medusa Gorgon Ling. So, we've got the Medusa again. So, it's just more of an individual focused portrait on her this time. This is Vincent Batley. So, it says, through the mist of time, across hundreds of years, I've lived a warrior's life full of triumph and tears. He is the Skull King. You can see he sat atop his collection of skulls here. We've got Victor and Victoria Vampling again. It's really sweet. She's on the edge of the cliff. It's all very, um, what's his name, that guy? Oh, that guy. Oh, what's his name? I can't think. Edgar Allan Poe? Yeah, I feel I get, I get a Poe vibe with this one. Uh, not sure why. Uh, Victor Vampling. So this is just him on his own. It's called I Stole Your Heart, which is quite literal. We've then got Tempest Hexling, the conjuring this is called. I am mistress of the hex, queen of the curse, and conjure misfortune from a malevolent verse. Mm. So she's actually got crystals here, which seems to be, it seemed to be a hand, I thought, for a second then, but I think she's just holding them. But kind of two-faced thing going on, animal bones in her hair and loads of crystals down here. We've got Scully Skelling again and he's having a little float in the pond. It says skinny dipping. I don't think you can get skinnier than a skeleton, can you really? And then we've got Skeletta Skelling. So she's ready, I think, to make her vows to Scully. Looks like she's got her veil and her flowers and her bride's dress on. Pyro Demonling. So here's Pyro again. I can imagine loads of oranges and reds really bringing this one to life. So he's a demon and he's collecting fireflies, looks like. This is Miss T. Ginky's Steampunkling. So this was one that I thought I would colour for this review, but I ended up finding another one that I loved even more. But I do adore the steampunk aesthetic, so I really wanted to colour this one. I'll do it next. Um, so yeah, loads of locks and buckles and belts and the steampunk goggles and everything else. So another landscape one. This is Otis Scaling and Vladimir Batling. Looks like they're just chilling out. Uh, having a good time mind you he looks a bit scared let's read it it says you're next you cannot get sick and will never grow old it's a great gift if truth be told mm. turn it back around this is nightshade dark fairyling so she has a love potion here and uh yeah i really like this one i love the ones that are contained in borders they're my favorites this is Nightshade Dark Fairyling. So we had Light Fairyling, now we've got Dark Fairyling and she's making her potions and things here, as you can see. Oh, and this is the one that I've done. So ignore all the mess on this page. I always use these facing pages as my little palette and scribble things down. And as you can see, I've had a massive leak here with my white gel, uh, but the illustration looks good. So that's all, that's all okay. Um, I did just write down what I'd used in case anybody wanted the colour combinations for the sack, the kind of hessian sack. So I used light umber, artichoke and ginger root and that's from the Prismacolor Premier set. Then on the orange on his little slip um, thing I used light umber again, mineral orange, cadmium orange hue and Spanish orange. So just in case you wanted to know um, I used a little bit of cloud blue for the for the um, snow and I really love how the moon's turned out I think I did a really good job on that I might have to do a tutorial if anyone's interested 
but yeah I really really liked how this turned out and um, I chose this one over all the others because it reminds me of a horror film that I watched called Trick or Treat and there's a character in that called Sam who looks pretty much exactly the same as this guy um, so yeah that's why I chose it we then have Vladimir Batling and he's got contracts and oaths and all things to tie you into demon deals we've got Vincent Batling who's been caught in the storm looking like a bit of a drowned rat or drowned bat in this case we've got Wolfgang von Wheeling Wehr do you say Wheeling or do you, is it just full I don't know uh, embrace the full moon transformation begin I accept my fate and the free wolf within this is awesome massive moon there um, to colour in and it's really kind of um realistic as well with the craters and things so that might help you color it and then finally we've got valdis norseman zombieling uh the guardian so i'll just read this one as this is the last one a deadly berserker with axe sword and shield i died with honor in battle as i did not yield i remained during daylight in my burial mound guarding the gateway between the dead and earthbound so we've got zombie we've got viking norse kind of god look to it we've got the big thor helmet and what have you and that is the end now look what's on the back we have a real treat here it's showing us that you can actually get these characters or some of some frightlings anyway um as little gifts and, and teddies and plushes and even charms for your bracelets or whatever else um, and all you have to do is go to um where are we myfrightlings.com and you'll even get 10 percent off with the code color in heaven so awesome go and do that um just before we finish i need to quickly mention that color in heaven have an offer on at the moment uh it's been on all summer i think and the offer is that you can get three um issues of color in heaven for just five pounds now this obviously isn't going to be included because this is a collector's issue but it's three of the usual subscription issues that you would get every month now normally each of those magazines are 5.99 in pounds and you can get three for five pounds so you're getting three for less than the price of one and it's not going to be on much longer this sale so get your subscriptions in it is a subscription service Basically, you sign up and you'll get three issues for five pounds and then you'll uh, carry on with your subscription and um, the costs of that. So it'll all be explained to you anyway. Link in the description, but really, really good offer that I think everyone should just take it up because, as I say, three for a five, you can't go wrong. And don't worry if you're not in the UK, because there are also loads of deals for those who are in different countries. They've got deals for you in Australia, in America and the rest of the world. So all the details yet again will be in the description but i will also put the link where you can buy the frightlings book and any of the other back issues of color in heaven so i'm really really excited for this issue i hope you are too let me know what you think of it um even though it's kind of horrid subject matter it's done in a really cute and sweet way so i don't think it's going to be polarizing i think most people will all like it uh, let me know in the comments give the video a thumbs up and i will see you soon on color with claire